And there doesn't seem to be anything going on really in those places, which means they're, the, the final maps have to be something and they have to be somewhere and they have to be interesting. So are they beneath the earth? Are they in the like, you know, like there's the Stardust Sea. There's that like giant gaping massive rend in the land between um, Jacques Terral and Jacques Terral, the northern and southern sections that the, the bridge, there's the bridge that like crosses that. What caused that like divide first off and two, what's down there because it's still existing there's a reason that it's still existing okay well yeah. i think that's everything that i know to ask like the rest yeah. is unknown unknowns like so unknowns and, but it's I, so filled with potential i yeah. think that's something that's the most exciting and it's so interesting again that they chose the new world because before i left final fantasy 14 a lot of like the speculation was especially with the dragons you know like was like Maricidia. Right, Maricidia. Yeah. That's okay. I thought it was gonna be Maricidia. And and then it's like boom. And then like they're going to the new world. We're not just going to shard hopping. At least that's not the main drive of it. And uh and yeah, I think that in and of itself is like really interesting and a really interesting kickoff to what potentially is the next ten years uh, of an arc. Uh, I don't. I don't. Oh, we don't ultimately know. But it seems like they continue to tease that. That you know, hey, we're gonna tell this story. There might be a bigger story that's kind of, you know, a part of it, but it's not going to be so visible. And that's going to kind of unfold and see if they can't do the Heidel and Zodiac arc, you know, time, you know, times two. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a hard challenge, right? I mean, at least with Zodiac and Heidel and you had a very strong start of this is my enemy. Like, this is the like main thing we're headed towards mm -hmm. the whole time. Yeah. All right. Well, Elia, where can people find you, dude? Yeah, you can find me over at the Eorzean Archives, uh, where we put out videos usually weekly. Uh, and uh, yeah, just putting out a bunch of good lore content. Hopefully, there'll be a lot more Final Fantasy XIV content. You can also, over there, catch us uh, streaming, hopefully, Final Fantasy XI soon. We just finished uh, replaying all of the 6.5, uh, uh, the 6.x uh, MSQ, uh, replaying it. But um, hopefully, we'll be moving on to 11 before too long. Fantastic. Chris, where can people find you? Right here. Right here, we are broadcasting this uh, on Fridays to all of the places. Uh, and so as we start to get ready for the expansion, hopefully more Final Fantasy 14 content along the way. Um, but right now is that time when like I'm reorganizing my office. Uh, you can see that things had to get a lot worse before they can get better. Uh, so I am actually going through and I'm, I'm going through like a purge right now. So I've, I put uh, five garbage bags of stuff out on the curb last week. Uh, just things yeah. that like, as I went through, you know, just Minimalist, each baby. Item. what do I need? Yeah. What do I not need? Uh, getting rid of a lot of stuff, finding new homes for anything that's still in good shape, trash and everything else. That's not, um, cause it just kind of piles up. Yeah. And you can find me here and you can also find me over in ginger prime. I've been working on, uh, doing like a video essay every week. Uh, for this year and it's been going good so far we just rolled out my state of the game for pal world uh next week i'm trying to get the state of the game for no man's sky up and running so i've been working on the script that in and of itself i think is going to be a real interesting video to see how people react to it namely because i was playing no man's sky and then in other video like other streams where i wasn't playing no man's sky a lot of people really wanted to talk about no man's sky and how like sean murray and the history of that uh, as, as well. So um, I did pick up uh, Pal World in Shrouded. Uh, I pick, I'm playing Grand Blue Fantasy Relink this weekend. And also because of the Epic Loot Radio podcast, my host, uh, co host Kirk over there convinced me to pick up Suicide Squad so that way we can review it for you guys because press doesn't have review codes, which doesn't mean it's a bad game. It just, that's a red flag. That's something just to, to be aware of when it comes Some to games and service. But plus all Some the other news. I mean, maybe. <laughs> So uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy video game content. And if you do, top link in the description will get you, I think, endless amounts of it. So uh, choose, feel free to pick your own adventure, uh, you know, and and go from there. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, playing Power World, let's, let's screw, playing Power World while watching this. I actually hope to step into Power World. I've been I've been fighting Brokadish. For those of you who've been on the show watching, uh, you've probably seen me mute and cough for a little bit, but finally starting to feel like my normal self again. And hopefully we'll make some time to actually we'll probably have a bronchitis you can you can capture in a sphere probably <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna make me laugh and cough again it's but a anyway, real thing it's a real thing all right guys we'll Pokemon be back image. we'll be back uh next week and we uh we've been working on trying to build out 
uh, basically the uh, the cast of characters that you see on this podcast throughout 2024. So Elio, you're all, like, I really hope we get you back next week. Yeah. But again, uh, you know, we want to make sure that we respect people's times and flexibilities uh, with all of it. So hopefully we'll see you guys next Friday, 1130 Central. And until then, take care.